family of five escaped an early morning fire in Hubbard, but it wasn't easy. Easy. The fire was moving fast. They only had seconds to get out. Well, this afternoon I went to the neighborhood to get a better sense of what had really happened. The damage is catastrophic at the Vint home in Hubbard. Black soot, charred rubble and broken glass everywhere. Today, walking along Simler Street, I talked with one of the neighbors, Linda Steer. I peeked out the window and I, I thought, oh my gosh. The sirens and flashing lights woke her up at 2.30. James Vint was inside the home with his wife and three kids when one of them started jumping and yelling for his father. I don't know what happened. Uh, we was all sleeping. James yelled for his wife and daughter to run outside. His 17-year-old son jumped out a window. He dragged his youngest son out of another window. Then the fire department showed up. Did a 360 and uh, found that the whole entire structure was involved. The chief feels the fire started in the back of the home, but from front to back, it's completely destroyed. And Linda Steer got her first look at the damage this morning. I thought maybe it was just a little fire until I drove by and looked at it, and it, it's totaled. It is, but the Vint family is still together. It will take time to rebuild and replace everything they've lost, but the first part is realizing that they survived the fire. Oh my gosh, I just kept looking at it. I thought, oh my word, I felt so bad for them because I know, uh, I mean, that's your home. My house means the world to me. I done all that work myself. Yeah, it, it's, it hurts, it hurts. A clothing drive for the Vint family is being held Monday. It runs from 2.30 to 8 at the Hubbard VFW, which is on West Liberty Street. The suggestion is for clothing, shoes, or simply a gift card.